Shalom. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Recha, Kodash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone because those are the men who I learned their truth from through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Yahweh is the true name of the God of Israel. Yahweh Shai is who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, but his one and only true name is Yahweh Shai. And um, pretty much this video is going to be about the Fed now explain, understand the Fed's instant system service launch on Wednesday. So this was launched um, two days ago. You know, today is Friday. So um, let's get into the article because there's a lot of confusion. You know, when I first did um, videos on the Fed now, I know speaking for myself, I never said that the Fed now um, money transferring system or the service of it that it was a currency now don't get it confused fed now is not cbdc but when cbdc which stands for central bank digital currency becomes the legal tender and it replaces fiat currency is going to run on this fed now system the fed now system is supposed to be to monitor your transactions to keep a log of all of your transactions all right so let's get into it so it says the federal reserve on wednesday launched a real-time payment system that eventually will allow consumers and businesses to send and receive money within seconds 24 hours a day doing away with typical lags of one to three days so eventually this fed now system is going to um, replace venmo you know cash App and any other services that's like that because the fed now it deals with what the money transferring um system to make things instantly available like your direct deposit sending money right it says with the service called fed now workers could spend their paycheck immediately so they're pushing this as something that's beneficial for society right you could you could spend your paycheck immediately meaning as soon as you're um, payment provider issues your uh, paycheck or your wage right you instantly are going to get that money but remember when something is a pro there has to be cons as well it says instead of waiting several days for it to clear and consumers could pay a utility bill at the last minute without incurring a late fee among other benefits so they're pushing this as it's a thing of convenience right it says, when does FedNail start? But while banks and credit unions will be able to sign up for FedNail starting Wednesday, it's expected to take years for most to join the network and offer real-time payment services to customers, the Fed says. Yeah, so right now, it's like a voluntary thing where banks could um, join in. But ultimately, this is why they need to have a cyber attack in order to fully implement this new system. Now, when this cyber attack does take place, Lord willing, within the next two years, because that's what the World Economic Forum said, they said expect a major cyber attack on the power grid, but more importantly, the banking system, right, between 2023 and 2025. Now, what's the point of having a cyber attack on the banking system to cause a reset, you know, a great global reset to reset the system? And once the power comes on, it's going to be a new system in place, which is going to be the CBDC as the new form of currency, right? Along with the microchip implant. And they're going to have the CBDC program on the microchip implant. That's why this article is talking about a CBDC microchip implant, all right? Because they want to merge man to this system how are they going to do that through the mark of the beast which is and only is the rfid chip implant all right the cbdc is not the mark of the beast the cbdc is not fed now cbdc is a digital fiat currency all right fed now just deals with the money transferring services of the system like the mechanics of it all right 
So don't get it confused because I hear individuals talking about, oh, yeah, Fed now and, you know, pretty much just sounding, you know, an alarm and you don't need to do that. All right. It says the Federal Reserve built the Fed now service to help make everyday payments over the coming years faster and more convenient. So that's why even when I first did my first couple of videos, I told you that the Fed now deals with the money transferring services of this system. All right. The way how you send and receive money. And eventually this is going to replace what everyday people use, which is Venmo, Cash App, you know, the PayPal, stuff, stuff of that nature. Right. It says Fed Chair Jerome Powell said in the news release over time, as more banks choose to use this new tool, the benefits to individuals and businesses will include enabling a person to immediately receive a paycheck or a company to instantly access funds when an invoice is paid. It says initially 35 banks and credit unions that agreed to be early adopters already have tested Fednell and can accommodate instant payments. Many could go live right away or shortly after Wednesday launch if they develop payment services for their customers so that's why i said it's, it's a payment service all right but it's issued by the federal reserve because ultimately this is about the central banks regaining control over society monitoring your transactions because ultimately they want everything to flow through blockchain so that they can keep a record of all of your transactions what are you doing with your money are you paying taxes are you money laundering so this is the first step in their new revamp system, according to their new world order agenda or the 2030 agenda, right? It says they include J.P. Morgan Chase, B, BNY Mellon, Wells Fargo, and People's Bank. It says 16 service providers that could send or receive payments on behalf of smaller banks are also early adopters. And this is why... America, along with other countries, they had a CBDC pilot testing. All right. See, everything is always in a testing phase before it becomes the real thing. Continuing on, it says, what is FedNail? Currently, checks, automated clearinghouse, ACH transactions, debit card processing, and other payments can take up to a few days to settle as the banks of the sender and receiver of the money communicate and verify that the funds are available, right? It says, the new service will allow the money to be transferred instantly any time of the day or night, year, or round. So as you can see here, this is two people using Fennel, I assume. It says, two people are sending money on smartphones, as you can see there, right? Money received, money sent. It says, yet FedNow simply refers to the network provided by the Federal Reserve that banks will use to make the lightning fast payments possible or the high speed highway as the central bank calls it. The nation's 9,000 banks and credit unions must still decide whether to join the system and then create mobile phone apps or websites so that um, customers can send and receive money. So that's why I said it's going to replace Cash App and Venmo. And any other person that um, is rebelling against the NWO agenda and they want to come up with their own version of a decentralized currency, then, you know, eventually you're just going to get assassinated. Like how you see the, the founder of, um, you know, um, Cash App and other people, right? Crypto millionaires, they're disappearing. It says... To make a payment, both the sender and receiver must have accounts at banks that are part of the network. It says, while there are other apps and services that let people pay pay each other, such as PayPal. So this is what uh, FinNow eventually is going to replace. It says, such as PayPal, Venmo, and Zelly. They typically transfer funds from one PayPal account to another, for example but not directly to a bank account or there are generally delays before funds show up in the bank account. So the whole 
the whole just of fed now is that you can receive your money instantly you don't have to wait one to three business days the typical way now everything is going to be instant right it says the new service could allow someone who lost their wallet to pay for a taxi ride with a cell phone or an app or if they don't have the app their friend across the country could instantly send the funds to them or to the cab driver according to an example provided by the federal reserve bank of new york a cash strapped small business could immediately tap funds when invoices are paid giving them vital working capital so they don't have to wait for the money to clear because the money would be available instantly right <coughs> so now let's get into the article so this is second corinthians chapter 2 and verse 11 it says least satan and that word um satan as you can see strong g 4567 is um santana's in the greek and ultimately that's talking about a satan like man as you can see right here all right now who who is the satan like man the edomites the so-called white man in his sea line going back to malachi 1 and 4 they're known as the border of wickedness, meaning any part of the world where they're dwelling, you know, it's going to be wicked. It's going to be contaminated by their ideologies, you know, that do as thou wilt spirit, you know, feminism, westernization, democracy, right? So it says, at least Satan should get an advantage of us, talk about the Satan-like man, and ultimately, the, the heads of the Edomites is who? The central bankers that have this NWO 2030 agenda. So what they're in the process of doing is getting people to depend on the government so that when they come down with great wrath, as prophesied in Revelation 12 and 12, the people is going to be begging for a solution, especially during this ne next major false flag attack. Because through the spirit, I feel like it's going to be multiple things happening simultaneously because that's what Yahweh Shai said in Matthew the 24th chapter. So, yeah, you're going to have a cyber attack, but also you might have a disease outbreak going on as well. That's worse than what happened a couple of years ago concerning the COV, you know, after 18 come to 1-9. All right. It says, at least Satan should get an advantage of us for we, the elect of the nation of Israel, Lord willing, I hope to be a part of that, are not ignorant of his devices. We're not ignorant to the so-called white man's agendas, you know, his evil schemes. You know his um conspiracies now that's going to this word devices the word there is nayama and it says a mental perception thought an evil purpose because what what does the word conspiracy mean the word conspiracy means a plotting of evil by a specific group of people who's the specific group of people the central bankers they control your governments Every country you go to is going to have a central bank there, meaning that the Edomites have full control over that nation through banking, all right? Through the money system, through the IMF, through the World Bank, right? So it says an, an evil purpose. What's the evil purpose? To cause a global economic collapse, whether it's a, a cyber attack, however they do it, all right? And usher a new system. Now, to fully be a part of this new system, when the mandato uh, mandatory laws go into effect, you're going to have to get that CBDC microchip implant. You're going to have to get that RFID chip implant in order to buy and sell. Why? Because the currency, pursuant to uh, Revelation 13 and 17, the currency is going to be on a device. You're going to need the device to buy and sell. All right? Search it up yourself. CBDC microchip. We've been was warning you about this. For years, even before I was born, the apostles of Great Millstone been warning you about this. All right. It says that which thinks the mind thoughts of purposes. Going back to what? His agendas, his 2030 agenda. He also has the Georgia Guy Stones. He has an NWO agenda, which is a worldwide agenda. Scriptures tell you that the hour of temptation is going to come upon all the world. All the world is going to be te um, tempted. All right. All the world is going to be tried. So now let's go back. So 2 Corinthians 2 and 11, at least Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. So whenever the so-called white man, the Edomites, introduce something and they offer all the pros first without 
the cons, you have to be wary of, of this individual. You have to be wary of what's going on. All right? Now, this is Ecclesiasticus, known as the Book of Sirach, 12 and 16. It says, an enemy speaketh sweetly with his lips. Oh, yeah, instant payments, you know? Oh, things is getting better. You could receive your direct deposit instantly. You know, you don't have to wait for your funds to clear. Oh, you want to cash um, a, a big check? You want to cash a check over 5000 Oh, you can access it immediately, right? An enemy speaketh sweetly with his lips. Who is our number one enemy? The Edomites, which is who? The so-called white man in Sila, beginning with the central bankers on down. Because the Edomites, as prophesied in the scriptures, 2nd Ezra 6 and 9, they're in control of the world. Like I said, you go to any part of the world, there's a central bank there. All right? It doesn't matter who faces on the, the um, fiat currency, the paper money. That currency comes from the central banker system. All right? So the Edomites are in rulership pursuant to Bible prophecy. Right? And the first nation we went to war against was who? Amalek. All right? Israel versus Amalek and our forefathers been fighting ever since the womb right since Rebecca was pregnant so it says an enemy speaker sweetly with his lips you know um promoting all the um pros of something new right oh this is this is convenient for you this is a better way of doing things this is a better way of buying and selling and people don't realize look you know this is an agenda this is the this is the first step towards the MOTB being made mandatory. Because like I said, when the CBDC becomes a legal tender and replaces the US dollar after this de-dollarization, you know, thing, then it's gonna run on this FedNow system. So everything is meant to track and control you to see what you're doing with your money. This is why they want to implement a social credit system to see who's complying with the government. If you don't comply with the government, we're going to shut your money off. We're going to shut your chip off, right? It says, <clears throat> but in his heart, meaning his mind, he imagineth how to throw thee into a pit. So whenever they offer you something, it's not to help society. It's not for society to benefit. It's for them to progress in furthering their 2030 agenda, also known as the NWO agenda, which ultimately... The end game of that agenda is to implant you with that CBDC microchip implant. All right. So it says he will weep with his eyes. Yeah, he'll protest with you. You know, he'll be like, oh, yeah, that the injustice, this and that. But if he find opportunity, he will not be satisfied with blood. And that's how these Edomites roll. They're not satisfied with blood. They own everything in the world. They got control of all these countries through the banking system. And through finance, they control all these nations' money. When you look at the world debt clock, all these countries are in debt to who? The central bankers. So the only way to get rid of that debt is to come up with an entirely new system. All right? And this is why all these countries, they will adopt the CBDC as the legal tender. All these countries, when that time come, pursuing the Revelation 13 and 16, it says what? He calls of all. So all around the world, all right, people is going to have to make that choice whether they will consent to this NWO system. And if they want to be a part of it, as far as buying and selling, earning wages, then you're going to have to receive this RFID chip implant. But we know pursuant to Revelation, the 14th chapter, verses 9 on down, if you take this chip, you're going to be destroyed. Scriptures say that the elect would not bow down to this image. The scriptures say that the elect of the nation of Israel, which are the ones that's going to receive salvation, they said no to this chip. And some of them had to die in the process. All right? So that's said with that. So this is um, Isaiah chapter 30 and verse 2. It says that walk to go down into Egypt. Now, when you read Revelation 11 and 8, Babylon the Great, which is America, is spiritually called Sodom and Egypt. Why? Because it keeps the same customs, the same philosophies, the, the same gods, the same um, ideologies is being kept here in America. That's why there's a lot of similarities 
between America and Egypt and Sodom and Gomorrah. Sodom and Gomorrah was destroyed by fire and brimstone. America is going to be destroyed by fire and brimstone, but by nuclear missiles. Because Sodom and Gomorrah was destroyed by so-called UFOs, by the, by the angels. All right? For Sodom and Gomorrah, they were wicked. In the five neighboring cities, they were wicked. They were Sodomites. You know, men with men, women with women. You know, women with beasts, men with beasts. It's disgusting, man. Immoral acts. It says that walk to go down into Egypt and have not acts at my mouth. Because ultimately, that's what's going to end up happening. And the Lord's mouth on the planet Earth is who? It's prophets that give you the warning, right? To strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh. And that's what our people want to do. Because the modern day Pharaohs are who? The central bankers, all right? And you got our people, they want to strengthen themselves in this system. That's why when this global economic collapse takes place, when it finally commences, you know, you're going to have nobody to blame but yourself because you wanted to live the American dream. You got deceived by the so-called white man, all right, by the, by the Edomites. That's why the scriptures say this, to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh and to trust in the shadow of Egypt. Our people trust in this government. So the fact that they releasing this fed now, this is all about the government gaining the trust and control over people to get you used to the idea of, oh man, I could get my money instantly. So now when they make the CBDC run on this Fennel platform, you're not gonna see no um, difference. You're gonna see it as, oh man, this is so beneficial, right? Not realizing you fell into the trap, you fell into the snare. Continuing on, it says, therefore, shall the strength of Pharaoh, right? This economy, his, his system that he wants to implement, right? His cashless digital society. It says, therefore, shall the strength of Pharaoh be your shame. Exactly. So when this economic collapse takes place fully within America and the cyber attack may be the end or be all as far as causing an economic collapse, Look, you're going to get caught up in that, and that's why the scriptures say what? Riches profit not in the day of the Lord's wrath, because your status is not going to mean shit. Whoever the hell you were, CEO, manager, who gives a, who cares, all right? Everybody's going to be on equal playing field, and the more people suffer and their back is against the wall, the more crime is going to take place, all right? The more people is going to be put in a mindset of survival. I have to survive. I have to eat. And if they have a family, that's just going to make it worse on their mind. Right? It says, I'm going to read again, Isaiah 33. Therefore shall the strength of Pharaoh be your shame. And, and especially you women. All right? You women, you, you love this world. Even you so-called Israelite sisters. Not all of you, but, you know, a good bulk of you. You love this system. You love the world. It says, yeah, because you're indoctrinated by westernization and a lot of you have feminist ideologies. All right. A lot of you just hate men for no reason. You know, your money is your money. But then the guy or men that you get with, you know, you want their money and you don't want to contribute to nothing. All right. You just think men was created to serve you. And that's not what the Bible says. It says, therefore shall the strength of Pharaoh be your shame and the trust in the shadow of Egypt, your confusion. So when this economic collapse takes place, you know, you was warned by the prophets of the Lord, which are who? The men of Great Millstone, as well as the men that teach exactly like us, word for word and like mine. All right. So, I mean, that's pretty much it. Like I said, you know, the Fed now system is like the money transferring services. It's like the mechanics of this new system that they're implementing. When the CBDC replaces fiat currency, the CBDC is going to run on this Fed now system along with that CBDC microchip implant, which is the MOTB. All right. So don't don't get it confused. Eventually, FedNow is going to replace Zelly, PayPal, um, Cash App, all right, Venmo, and any other services like that. Western Union, MoneyGram, you know, things of that nature. So, Lord willing, you was edified by the lesson. Shalom.